Hello there. My name is Luna. You may call me Mischief. Be the one will do. I'm coming to you bring a little tutorial on how to upload your first avatar. So, with all that out of the way, what you're going to need firstly is you're going to need Unity Hub. Now, in the installs, generally get you to install the latest version. You don't want to be using that one. What you want instead is this one in particular. 2019.4.3.f I will have links in the about me section below where you can obtain this archived version and have it installed in Unity Hub. Get that out of the way. We're going to do to go projects. You can see my project here. I upload a lot of avatars. You want to click new project. You want to make sure it's 3D4. Give it a name. Okay. Avatar 4 d Doesn't like spaces. Just kind of do it always just make your life easier. When you do upload it to VRChat, you can name it anything you want. That will be different to the name that you're putting. This is just so that you know which project it is and you can Go create project. Give Unity just a moment to load itself up. Okay, so we now have Unity. So, what you're going to need are some pretty important things. Now, oh, brought them over here. We have VRChat SDK. We have Iomi. And for those of you who like to engage in the spicier parts of that, we have the DPS system. Starting off, we're going to double click on the SDK. That is the first thing you're going to want to look in. You're going to click import and you're going to give it a moment. It just takes a takes time importing everything into the Unity Hub. Now that it's done, you're going to see up the top here, you've got file, edit, assets, M object, component, VRChat SDK. Click on show control panel. It's going to look like this. And that's just where you log in with your VRChat username and password. And then to keep this being just a free standalone window, drag it over here next to the inspector tab. They're nice and neat out of the way. Okay. Now we're logged in, we've got that all ready to go. Uh, set and forget for now. Next, you're going to want to install your Payumi. And lastly, before we import our avatar, if you're uploading a spicy avatar for spicy content, the Raylo's Dynamic Penetration System. And if your avatar is going to have a penetrator, plugins, Raylo's, what penetrator. Base stuff out the way. Now what we're going to do is upload the avatar in. So, so this avatar I'm uploading, she is a free avatar. Link will be below. This avatar that I am uploading in is Cyberlux by Ghost XO. I'm gonna double click on this folder here. This is Cyberlux. You're gonna see this here that says open me drag that into a hierarchy. Now to move around in Unity, if you hold down right click and use your WASD keys, it's going to allow you to in a little bit closer. In some other tutorials, I'll show you what I do for editing colors or changing textures, that sort of thing. But for now, we're just going to upload her as is, just to show you what we can do on how to upload an avatar. Very simple, pretty much ready to go. All I need to do is click on Builder. 
and then click build and publish photos. Just click yes to that. Now we'll let do its thing. And so when we get to the screen, we're going to have the ability of giving it a name. Now whatever you type in this field is what you're going to see in your VR chat menu for avatars. We'll put here. I generally just put Luna. Don't worry about clicking any of these. All you need to make sure is that the above information is accurate and I have the rice up at the top of the VR chat. You click. And that's it. That's how simple it is to upload an avatar to the chat. In some future tutorials, I'll do examples of what I do for editing avatars as far as changing textures, changing colors. So stay tuned for that. Now, see you next time.